Angels, the U.S. Navy's elite flying team, celebrate their birthday on 24 April every year. They fly the distinctive blue and gold McDonnell Douglas F-A-18 Hornets in tight formation in more than 70 air shows at 34 locations throughout the U.S. each year. The mission is to showcase the pride and professionalism of the United States Navy and Marine Corps by inspiring a culture of excellence and service to country through flight demonstrations and community outreach. So how did that mission get started? World War II had ended and the budget for the Navy had significantly decreased, but aviation played an integral part in World War II. Chief of Navy Operations Admiral Chester W. Nimitz wanted to showcase the importance of Navy aviation, so on April 24, 1946, he issued a directive ordering the formation of a flight demonstration team. Its purpose was to boost Navy morale, demonstrate naval air power, and to ensure public interest in it continued. The team's first flight demonstration was June 15, 1946 at Craig Field in Jacksonville, Florida. Lieutenant Commander Roy Butch Foros was its first flight leader. He led the team flying the Grumman F-6F Hellcat, a carrier-based propeller-driven fighter airplane and the main Navy fighter during World War II. The team transitioned to the Grumman F-8F Bearcat two months later. Lieutenant Commander Bob Clark introduced the signature diamond formation in 1947. By the end of the 40s, the Blue Angels began flying the Grumman F-9F-2 jet aircraft. Voris had total control over who was on his first team. He developed the demonstration and trained the pilots. They perfected the routine over the Florida Everglades. Voris said, if anything happened, just the alligators would know. Originally, they were to be called the Blue Lancers, but the team members didn't like the name. After seeing an ad in the New Yorker magazine for a nightclub called the Blue Angels, they were inspired to change their name to the Blue Angels. The original Blue Angel insignia was designed by Lieutenant Commander Raleigh Dusty Rhodes in 1949. The insignia remains nearly the same today, but the aircraft silhouettes changed as aircrafts changed. The Blue Angels demonstration aircraft when they began were navy blue, almost black, with gold lettering. They changed to the current blue and yellow shades in 1946 after transitioning to the Bearcat. But for one year, 1949, the demonstration team performed in an all-yellow scheme with blue markings, the Grumman F-9F Panther, also the last propeller-powered Blue Angel. Today, the Blue Angels' six demonstration pilots fly the McDonnell Douglas F-A-18 Hornet. Many of the same practices and techniques used in the inaugural season are still used today. In August 1953, Blues leader Lieutenant Commander Ray Hawkins became the first naval aviator to survive an ejection at supersonic speeds when his F-9F-6 became uncontrollable on a cross-country flight. Each year, approximately 11 million spectators see their show. During the show season, March to November, they visit nearly 50,000 people in hospitals and schools. Since their inception, the Blue Angels have flown for more than 260 million spectators. Navy Captain Roy Marlin Butch Voros retired in 1963 and lived in Monterey until his death in 2005. 
Some of the stunts he developed for the Blue Angels are still in use today.